You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Sowers versus Roten. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Sowers, you say your 14-year marriage has been turned upside down by Ms. Roten's claim that your husband fathered her five-month-old son, Aiden. You claim that Ms. Roten is a home-wrecking harlot, but there is no way your husband fathered her child. Is that correct? Yes. Ms. Roten, you stated in your court papers that Ms. Sowers is, quote, a pathetic old lady who can't hang on to her man. Yes, oh. you believe her husband fathered your child and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Sowers, what do you mean Ms. Roten is a home-wrecking harlot? Me and Adam have been married for 14 years. She has tried to destroy my marriage. She's tried to put this baby off on Adam saying it's his baby. She's tried to file child support papers, which I have right here. That you asked for. And, you know, the strange thing about it is in Horry County. Isn't that something? It's Horry County. Horry County. If you could read, you'd know it was Horry County. Jerome, let me see those papers. It's not my fault you couldn't keep your husband. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Horry County. So these are child support papers filed with the court. Yes, ma'am. That Mr. Sowers yeah. asked for. Ms. Roden, just to be clear, you believe Mr. Sowers, a married man, is the father of your son. I know he is. I have no doubt in my mind. Not one. No. Or I wouldn't be here. He's not the father, and I want the results. You gonna get him. Don't cry when you see him, honey. Ms. Roden, can you tell the court how you got into a relationship with a married man? Him and my mutual friend stay the night. Um, at my house, and he just decided he didn't want to leave. Wow. So, take me to the night this whole thing basically transformed from we have a mutual friend to a sexual relationship. How did we get there? Um, well, he was just being charming and, um, like, trying to be nice and friendly, extra friendly. What and, do you um, mean by extra friendly? Like, Making just, the couch like, look good. Saying, um, I'm beautiful <laughs> and, um, just all kinds of sweet stuff, like, trying to, you know, get in my head. So, wait, he just says a few nice things to you and then you end up having sex with him? It, it, it was a lot yeah. more than that. That's about it. At this point, did you know he was married? No. Oh. So, yes. your mutual friend just basically comes and says, He didn't hey, tell me that. He never tells you this guy's married. No. Then how often would he come over after that? Every day. Oh. He was spending the night every day? Yes, ma'am. Sleeping in my bed. <laughs> so, Ms. Sowers, how did you find out about this relationship? I had a friend uh, up the road that says, your husband is at a girl named Chrissy's house. And I'm like, where is that? And she gave me the location, and his car was there. So that gives you the right to come in my front door? Well, I knocked on the door. Did they not. didn't answer. And I walked in, and the first time I caught them, they were on the couch. Ooh. And I pulled Adam out off the couch and That's said, let's go. And you ran in the back room. That's a lie. No, it's not a lie. Because Adam stayed with me and you left. No, you no, he didn't. Done. He left with me. And he stayed with me like he always did. He left. Oh. No. So, you just yeah. chilling out at your house, living your normal life, and someone mm, says, you life. know your, hu your husband's down the street. Yes, because he was missing a lot, and I wonder where he was. With me? Yeah. And he was Making at her house. Were, oh, so he was missing all night? Yeah, he would He would go, he'd leave at certain times of night, and I'd wake up, and he wasn't there. He'd show up at my house 3 o'clock in the morning. So, oh, yeah, he would show up at your house at 3 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, yeah, all, all times of night. Just come in and get in bed with me. Oh. So... You sounds, see why? Look sounds, at her. Sounds, sounds like Let's be right respectful. There. I'm just saying. Let's be respectful. So, Mr. Sowers, what are you thinking as you're on the couch with your mistress and your wife barges in? Oh, he's What fine. are you thinking? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> he... Wow is right, baby. Wow Highly, right. highly wow blown away right. on that but shit. You, ain't... But... you were blown away? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, but... Me and her were still in a rocky position on relationship, arguing, going back and forth, and... You know. What'd you tell me after that happened, Adam? That y'all were separated, right? So then, Ms. Roden, at some point, you find out you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Take me to that time. What happened when you found out? Um, I felt like 
sick, like, you know, I, I didn't feel like myself. So I took a test and I told my best friend and he was the second person I told. He was very excited. He wanted it to be a boy and he was very excited. He Ready was, to name him and everything. Yeah, was, I mean, offers uh, to get me orange juice and There's stuff. Orange juice is really the only thing I could drink. So, Miss Sowers, how did you find out your husband may have gotten his mistress pregnant? I drove up tried to find him. There was his car at her house, as usual. And I opened the door, and he's on one side of the bed, she's on the other, but he's dressed. I'm looking at her, she's in a little tank top. I'm like, are you pregnant? She's like, yes, I'm pregnant. That's and not how that it happened. Adam's child. And I said, is, is that true, That's not Adam? That's how it happened. I said, is that true, Adam? He says, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. He didn't, Did he, did, didn't he didn't, he didn't deny, and he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, you know, either way, because there were other men uh, involved in this situation. That's a lie. There were other men That's a lie. that she had been sleeping with. Seven That's a total lie. to to be. Seven I've been with eight Seven. people my entire life, baby. Why don't you state state some facts? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. How did you know she was sleeping with seven other men? She doesn't. Because they were all informing me, and everybody had been talking on Facebook. Yeah, name them. I want to know. Mm. Oh, did you actually see, though? Ms. No. Powers, did you actually see her yes, sleeping with yes, anybody? Yes, ma'am, I did. One day, I come back to the house, and Adam's car was there. So I walked in again. There was a guy on a couch, another guy on a couch. And, I, and that door was closed. Well, when that door was closed, there was something going on in there. Yeah, it was so you and your I husband. Opened, I opened the door, and there was a guy on top of her, and I shut the door, it and I caught, I caught, no, it wasn't my husband. Yes, it, it was, was your somebody. Husband. No, it wasn't. You've never, Wait, you I opened her out. bedroom door? Yes, I did, because I seen my husband. What in there. the world? She comes I, well, to the my door house, was always all, open. Unannounced. I mean, Second she all, had people coming in and out like a revolving door. Nope. That's a lie. Miss Roten, you don't believe in locking no doors? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm in my own yeah. house. Uh, yeah. This I is mean, almost unbelievable. I'm in my own though. house. Why, why should I have to lock my door if I'm in my own house? I mean, some look, crazy lady I, it's, it's, my house. It, look, I do not approve of the behavior, but I'm just saying, if you sleeping with somebody's husband, you got to at least lock the door. They were separated. Yeah. That's a, as far as I knew. Especially when his wife has already decided she can come right on, walk in. on in. Yeah, yeah, he's my husband. I'm gonna claim him. He's Apparently, y'all were separated at the time. That's what your husband was telling me. It don't matter. It is. All right, so you find out now this young woman is pregnant, and your husband says it might be mine. Yeah. Now you say you find out somehow that there are other possibilities that she's That's been with like seven men. That's everybody a lie. was talking. Who's everybody? Well, um, I have a, um... Like, a, I'm, I mean, is it family members, friends? Is it people in the town, neighbors? Well, I had a neighbor, and she claimed that her son was a father... Could be a possibility uh, of Chrissy's son also. That's a lie. And they had crocheted a little blanket, and it had AMR on it. Aiden's initial. Aiden Michael Roten, yes. For the baby. For the baby, My yeah. son's named after his dad, by the way. Who was with you when you gave birth to Aiden? Adam was there, my mother was there, my sister was there, and my best friend was there. He was in the room with me, right next to me. Wow. Well, where are the Wait pictures Wait a minute, at? hold yeah. on. So, Ms. Roten, you're saying your married lover was in He's the hospital lover. room with you when you delivered your baby? Yes, ma'am. Were you there, Mr. Sowers? I was there then, yes, Your Honor. So he was there. We don't need no picture, Miss Sowers, when your husband says he was there. Yeah, he was holding my leg. Can I tell I you there. how I it went. happened? I'll tell you how it went. Were you yeah. there, Sonia? You called me about 2.30 and said, I'm going into labor. I had told the nurse, I said, we are here. Chrissy said, I don't want her in the room. You're not welcome in my room. But you called you're, you're me and the, told me to come the to the hospital and bring no, Oh, wait a minute. No, I did not. Your husband's mistress calls you to tell you that his baby with her is on the way. Yes, because he was at work. I don't remember calling you. Well, you did. It you might have been your me. husband. Oh! <laughs>
this is incredible. It is. Oh, it's 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 incredible. <laughs> it's and ridiculous. I mean, it really. It's like a mother and a daughter arguing because that's pretty much the age difference. How yeah, old are you, Miss Sowers? Forty-seven. And how old are you, Miss Roten? Twenty-two. And I am just, I, I mean, to watch you have to argue with a girl over your husband. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she got your husband on lock, baby. I mean, this young woman could be your daughter. Yeah. She's young enough. Yeah. And then you, Miss Roten, to be in this predicament with a married man. Yeah, I was unaware until I was probably... Yeah, right. No. <laughs> a couple months Known pregnant. Only for years. You never one time used a condom. Never once. Well, you should have been on the pill. Like don't you what I should have been on? You said you, you don't you have to worry about it. You should have kept it. your husband on I can't have baby. no kids. I can't have no kids. You don't have to worry about it. That's what I was told specifically. No, it's, it's ours. Never told you that. Promise Are you, God, like, trying to tell this young girl that she should have been on the pill and your husband is out she sleeping with her? She said, <laughs> she, said she, she was on the pill. It's she all lied. Been, it's all been a lie. Oh, so you're saying, Mr. Sowers, Ms. Roten said to you, don't worry, I'm on the pill. Never yes, one Your time Honor, said that. Strike me down. Honestly, I've heard on my son's life I've never said that. That's what I was told. You don't have to worry about it. How this just went on for this long, and it seemed like everybody was informed. But it just kept happening. Are you all working on your marriage now, Ms. We Sowers? We are doing awesome. We're doing Thank better you. than Thank ever. Thank God. You are. Thank so God. actually doing really good. <laughs> and so now you're back together, trying to get on the right track, stay on the right track. And you're just interested in seeing, is your husband or are you the father of Miss Roten's child? The town did a poll. And I believe we have some pictures. The that town we can... did a poll. No, yes. no, Adam's, fr Adam's friend did a poll. I think we have Mutual them. friend that introduced us, right? Up. I think we can put the poll up and we'll see who the, the father is. Now, this is unbelievable. Yeah, that's, that doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah, that, that doesn't even make what? sense to me. <laughs> the town did a poll. Yeah. Where did you see this poll? Oh, it's all over. It's all over Facebook. The whole... Everybody knows about it's everything. It's a social media poll. Yes. And you see, uh, Adam was 12 I told him I didn't care. I mean, I know who the father of my son is, so I don't care. That's and the, who is this other guy? That's the guy I caught her with the day I He's went to her house. another friend of mine. That February when yeah, I he moved was to my friend's there. house from her house, he'd come by and I'd say, well, hey, man, where you been all night? Well, I just left Chrissy's house. And I was like, wow. So this other person, this mystery man, told you that he had been and spent the night at Miss Roten's house. Ironically, around February, beginning of February 7th, 8th, around... But why are you sleeping with a woman that all your friends are sleeping with, too? Yeah. He, yeah, so I need my head checked. <laughs> I mean, make you're sense. basically suggesting you're having a sexual relationship with a woman who's also sleeping with your friend. Yep. Which I wasn't. Yeah, and, he and I'm that. not gonna lie, this is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm mad for Aiden because no baby deserves to have Thank no. their face, Thank you. their newborn face, up on some social media poll. Thank you. They think that, it's hilarious. Don't no, that's worry. ignorant. No, it's very stupid. It's very ignorant it's and childish. But I know what I know. All right. Time. What a mess. Yes. You know what? I don't think I even want baby. to hear anymore. Uh, Jerome, you know what? I'm looking at this beautiful little boy. All I can say is, let's get the results for Aiden. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Sowers versus Roten, When it comes to five-month-old Aiden Roten, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Sowers, you are the father. Thank you. Have a nice life. What, nobody's sleeping around, baby. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. That is your little boy. It sure is. And it the is. poll was incorrect. Adam will. <laughs> yep. Not a doubt in my mind, Adam. Mr. Sowers, I'm happy to hear that you say you're back on track in your marriage, but you gotta get it together. Cause as you can see, <laughs> these affairs and this cheating, it's wrong anyway, but it also can produce little people. As disappointing as the situation is, I am happy Aiden will at least know who his biological father is. Have a relationship with him, hopefully. And be able to have a relationship. And I'm happy, Ms. Sowers, that you're willing to accept him. And I hope now that you all can figure out how you will co-parent in a productive way, where every time Mr. Sowers goes to pick up Aiden, he's not laying down with Ms. Roten. Oh, he won't be ever again. And uh, Ms. Roten, I was just about to say that. Ever again. I want to be clear. You're a young woman, but you're gonna have to put a stop to it. Because I yeah. hate to say it, the testimony I heard, if you gonna give it up, he gonna take it. Yes, ma'am. And we'll be back here again. Yes, ma'am. All right, we have counseling and resources for you all. I hope you take advantage of it and take care of that beautiful baby. I sure will. Court is adjourned.